Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Sim 17, Seasons Mod, uh, new map, etc, etc. We are on day two of early spring. If we look at our overview here, we are on day two of early spring. We, I guess, have another like nine days to plant no I guess we can plant soybeans and corn up until uh, mid fall and or summer and then I guess we just take some time off here uh, to do something we'll figure it out but we have a long way to go until then so this guy's got a plow uh, I got a tip that possibly with this worker if we just take the sower off. I can't quite remember what the deal was. Is it just that it was slow? I don't mind him going slow. Um, but I think someone pointed out if, if we get rid of the, the sower, it might speed him up. Um, I, I think it's just a, a pretty small tractor, right? This is the 700. I do have the upgraded engine, but it's still pretty tiny. Um, oh gosh. Well, what do I do? I could do this, but that's pretty scary. You know what? Someone said I should try using the ridge markers, which I haven't used since probably Farming Sim 13. How do we do this? Ridge, well, we probably have to select the right tool. Which would be... See, I'm not seeing it at all. At all. It should be this tool and then it's Z oh yeah ridge marker okay so I think we put this ridge down maybe and then we have to lower all these turn these bad boys on and then we go Or is this ridge marker supposed to be... What this... Well, what? No, I want... Actually, I do want to lift all that up. Oh, gosh. And then we need this ridge marker to come up. And that one to go down. Let's, let's see how this goes. So then, is this just to tell me... That I drive, like... Right up, like... Do I line up that little thing on the front with that ridge marker? There's like a little metal thing up. Let's, let's see if this works. Maybe this will help. And then we just... Should all I be looking at is like the... F oh yeah, we don't have a ridge. Oh no. Okay, wish me luck. Uh, this is going to be a bad line, a bad row, because I didn't start with it. Um, oh, he keeps veering slightly to the left. Okay, so I think this is how we use ridge markers. I don't know why we would use the other one. Like, how I don't know how they would work any differently than this. I know we're going way far to the right. That's I don't even know how do you, how do you get like a good first ridge marker? Just luck, luck of the draw. Yeah, I feel like I need to Google ridge marker and see. Uh, oh my goodness, this is a disaster. I mean, this is like. I would fire myself from my own farm if I drove, if I made my rows like that. Because we, would, I would just be the laughing stock of all the local farmers, and when they went and got their uh, coffee at the local convenience store, they would all just talk about me and my poorly rowed farm. And I'm not being stereotypical or like some big city guy like making fun of farmers. I grew up in a town of less than 100 people, and I worked in a convenience store, and that literally is what happens, is that they all like meet at the convenience store for coffee, and they like talk about farms, and they talk about weather, and crop rotations, and they make fun of the guy who has the most weeds, uh, and it's just like that subculture, and I, I actually love it. I mean, that's that was my childhood. Uh, so yeah, I would be 
the I would be the farmer who walks in the door and all the other farmers immediately go silent and sip their coffee at the same time. And I'd look around and, and say, hey everyone, I'm gonna go work on my field today. And, and then they would like, they would uh, just affirm with, with some mm -hmm and then uh, as soon as I left they would like all spit out their coffee laughing because they know that uh, when I say working on my farm I'm just actually gonna go mess it up like I'm doing now so that's that's probably how that would 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 go um, but you know I in all reality, I've never actually heard farmers be that mean to each other, so I am I am getting to the point of hyperbole at this point, so I want to back it up just a little bit. But they really do just get coffee at the convenience store. It's, it's really it's really fun to work during those times because they're all like really nice. I had this uh, elderly gentleman once. Um, he'd wear wooden bow tie or wooden ties. He had a wooden bow tie and a wooden necktie. Anyway, he'd wear those. Uh, and every and coffee was like. 49 cents or something if I remember correctly and he would always pay with two quarters okay let's see we gotta flip this yeah all right this isn't the worst that wasn't the worst row anyway he'd always pay with two quarters so I'd give him back his penny and then he'd always le like push the penny back towards me and he'd say, that's for your retirement fund. And it was always really funny to me. Um, especially when I was like 15, that was super funny because I wasn't thinking about retirement at that time. Or no, 16, I didn't start working until I was 16 because I couldn't drive at 15. Um, but of course now that I'm older than 16, I very much appreciate those pennies. Um, kind of wish I would have saved them. I would have helped, but at that time I probably spent them on bubble gum and, and uh, other I don't know, t toys that 16 year olds buy, I don't know, ring pops, a, a, a Chips Ahoy cookie, I think, once. Hey, these ridge workers are, ridge markers are kind of cool. All I'm looking at is like, gosh, I wish I could center on it. With that little metal thing up front, I'm just making sure that stays right on that marker. And I assume that that is the correct way to use these things if it's not well it's working for me so it's my correct way to use these things and I, I commented on a comment earlier that the best part of playing a simulator is that you can't play it wrong the only way you can play a simulator is correctly because it's your experience and your simulation um, I just happened to put it up for all the world to see, so, uh, I, you know, but I can take criticisms. And often deserve them. Oh wait, see? I almost did, did a bad mistake. We wouldn't have had a ridge marker. I can't believe I'm, like, doing this entire field by myself. This has never been done before in my life. Hey, look who's done. Okay, let's, uh, no! So I guess if we hire a worker, he won't put the ridge marker down, so we can't do that. But we could get this gentleman or lady. Um, we probably need to turn it. How do we turn? The B. B stands for turn. And go. At some point, we'll probably just connect. Oh, we could have done that. We, we have a plow. Why didn't I just do that? And okay, next time we will... Actually, we might do that before we cultivate. What we'll do is just connect these up, and then we'll have three kind of similar-sized farms. I'm going to run and get this gold. It's bothering me that this circle is on the other side of this field. It's just taunting me, so I don't also need those. I also don't need the minimap. Well, I'll have it up until I get the gold, and then I'm going to put the minimap away and just get a little more real estate. It's also almost nighttime, and I, at about 20 or 21, there's a lot of discrepancies in the comments section. We can actually just sleep during the night, which is a really, really neat feature um, that I wish was kind of just built into the game, and maybe it will be in the future. Alright, gotta turn all the stuff on. 
Okay, all the stuff is on. We have to put down our ridge marker. And we'll we'll do a blistering three miles per hour as I completely veer off of the ridge marker. Yeah, usually I would go in here and try... Oh, I guess we can kind of do that. The thing is that front seed bag attachment tank thing uh, is sort of blocking my view. Uh, if I had one of those IR, track IR devices, I could just like peer up, I believe, is, is possible. I don't know. But I, I want to just sit up a little bit, but I can't because I'm in a game. So we'll just have to wait for Farming Sim VR. If that ever exists, which I'm sure it will, right? Like, they've been making these games for a decade now. I don't think they'll stop. Don't stop me now. Well, is this a good time to uh, fast forward, or is this a good time to just... You know what? I'm gonna take this map. I'm not gonna fast forward, but I'm gonna be quiet just for a little bit. I'm gonna try this thing where I don't lift everything up, just because I... F for me to hit all the keys to lift it up just seems to take a lot longer than just turning around, so that actually went pretty well. I haven't missed like a huge chunk of field, and I really gotta thank these ridge markers. So I know I'm really bad at not saying names of commenters, and I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, again, I don't like plan what I'm gonna say, I just start and then stuff spews out as dia as as diatribe so almost a dialogue which would be incorrect because it's just me here in my room yeah my cat probably listens um but he doesn't talk back to me because he respects my authority anyway oh gosh i lost my train of thought oh yeah so i don't like look at i don't memorize commenter names because um i just don't like plan to like use their comment i, I should just have it up next to me and i could just alt tab to it I'm just, I just don't, but, oh, we should not hire that worker, because we're paying him overtime right now. We're paying him overtime because it's after 6 o'clock, which would be 18 o'clock. So, hey, this is all still set up for me. So if you are the commenter who told me to use ridge markers, thank you. Um, thank you. I just can't say your name right now. But you rock. Because I think this is great. But I think that guy was actually a farmer, he said. He's like, yeah, it helps me in real life too, which is really cool. Uh, we need to lift this up. Because we don't want a ridge marker, like, on this last pass. But I think we're going to zoom out and get a nice... I just love like zooming out really far. I think this is such a cool view. Um, seeing this last row get finished and then you can kind of see the the tractor in the other field. If you do grow up in the country or uh, grow up, the only way to live in the country is to grow up there. Sorry. If you live in the country, have ever lived in the country, uh, you know how like neat it is to be driving in like the pitch black darkness of a fall autumn evening uh, and you look out in the middle of a field and there's one or two tractors that are just sitting there with lights on for some reason I think it's just such a neat uh, neat image that I get to experience since I still uh, work in a rural community so oh just reminds me of that is I think what I was trying to say uh, the fog is rolling in. I'll probably finish up with this nice little view. It's, a little, it's also a little quieter in the cab. 
which I, I think is a really neat effect. Loud, quiet, loud, quiet. You could have heard that if I wouldn't have talked through the entire thing, so. There you go. And... We have planted wheat. Let's lift it up. Shut the car off. The car. Shut the tractor off. We'll shut the front door. Um, and then I think... Gosh, that fog is thick. I do not remember this ambient... Oh! It's raining? I don't remember this ambient of weather. I don't know if that's a Seasons mod thing or just just something with this map that makes it just a little more eerie than usual. Um, pretty soon we'll be able to skip tonight, but again, it's either 20 or 21. Let me hit this and, and verify for people out there. 20, okay. That's good to know. So now we can go left alt N. There we go. Um, and now we can hire, I think workers are over time, is it 6 to 6 or 8 to 8? I think I can find it pretty quickly here. Um, hired help. 6 to 6. Yeah, you pay them time and a half, I mean, basically outside of that. So since it's 6 o'clock, we will hire, oh, I shut it off. Hire this worker back. Actually, let's go fast time until we just have a little bit of light here. So we're on the last day of early spring, which means we can soon plant soybeans, which is exciting. But that's kind of a longer planting season then, so we might want to do barley or canola. I think I'm going to do canola. And then we'll do soybeans uh, on our last field. So let's go s slow down. Uh, let's turn this on. And then don't worry, I, I, I know you're all worried that I'm going to forget to disconnect the plow. Oh, we should go fill up our seed too. Um, otherwise, we're going to run out midfield. Let me check our maps here as well to make sure this is all good. So we just planted field what is happening what field did we just plant 22 so we just planted 22 I missed some plow somehow that's okay oh we need to fertilize didn't I like get that ready and then did I just totally not do it no, I fertilized that over there. Yeah. Oh no, okay. And did it create a fertilizer state? Yeah. So I think the important thing to do now, I'm not gonna go refill the seed. I think I need to quickly fertilize. Oh, what I was gonna say is I will remember to take the subsoiler off since we already have these plowed. That should speed us up a little bit because that won't be digging into the ground. Uh, but we really need to... Oh, I did that, didn't I? I always do that. God. Okay. So we'll reset this. No worries here. We'll find this. Reset this. I might empty it, but that's okay. Where'd it go? I think we attach it with the tank in front. And then we should have fertilizer here. Oop. So how much fertilizer do we have? We have seeds here and a couple more of these. Okay, that'll be enough. I was going the wrong way. So I'm I'm gonna be, have to be learning fertilizer states. Not gonna lie, I have not used all three yet, so I don't know all the 
nuances of uh, fertilizer states, like when you can use which ones. I don't think they make it that difficult. I think as soon as there's another growth state, I can spray again and it counts for a second one. Uh, but if we are going to do that, we need to get the weeder because that'll be a free, basically a free fertilizer state. You don't have to pay for uh, fertilizer or slurry, anything uh, extra. You just have to basically go over it with the weeder. Um, but we'll look into that next time for sure today. I just want to make sure we get this fertilized before I forget. So, And then, yeah, I think we... Bef so we'll do... Uh, canola on the far field, field 19. We will take the plow and connect connect fields 21 and 22. I keep hitting the wrong key. 21 and 22. And then we can plant soybeans on the uh, new, like kind of the 21, 22 connected field. And I think that is our plan of attack for the near future. I don't know what all the symbols mean in the top right. You have like a little couple trees with some water drops and then you... Uh, that, that's what I don't know what it means. I don't know what that one means. I know that the soil temperature is at 4 degrees, so our wheat is not germinating at the moment. It has to be 5 degrees. We, we know that because of this menu here. Wheat has to be 5 degrees. So, basically, I guess we didn't have to fertilize so hurriedly because this isn't going to grow at the moment, but I just really want to make sure we get it before the first growth state pops up. And I think that we will call that an episode. I'll go ahead and finish fertilizing this field off camera. It looks like it's just going to take one, maybe two more passes to get a little sliver. Um, I'll let that worker finish up plowing um, off camera. I don't think there will be too, too many exciting events to see there. And so the next time we can kind of work on those other things I talked about. So as always, thank you so much for uh, watching. I really hope you're still enjoying Farming Sim and uh, kind of this new series. I do think when Platinum Edition comes out in a couple months, we'll probably switch right over to that, and then we can either run these two simultaneously if, if, if we think that is uh, necessary, or we'll just abandon this. I don't know yet. Um, it'll kind of depend on where the series goes. So thanks for watching. Have yourselves. A very nice day.